Hi, today I'm going to take you through the high-level process that I used to build a tic-tac-toe game on my Arduino. The first step that I took was to build and test a circuit one piece at a time. Uh, step two was to write the application one function at a time. And step three, which was something actually that I did throughout the whole process, was debugging and making improvements as I proceeded. The code samples to accompany this video can be found on the accompanying blog post on my blog. Before we jump into the separate steps, um, let's take a quick look at the parts that you're going to need in order to create this tic-tac-toe game. Please make sure that you have all these parts on hand before you get started. And without further ado, let's take a look at the first phase, creating and testing the circuit. So to start building the circuit, I first just connected all the LED lights and made sure they could turn on. Uh, next, uh, what I did was try to turn on the LED lights with a button. Um, and then following that with the potentiometer. Now let's go on step two, building the actual application. Uh, to build the application, what I first did uh, was make sure that I could confirm what player was active. Uh, next up, what I did was play around with how to select the different spots on the board uh, with the potentiometer and how to make sure that each spot could be selected whenever a player pressed the button. This, of course, took a lot of back and forward work and debugging. It was not as just straightforward as doing those two things. The last part was creating a function that could tell if somebody won. Uh, as I just mentioned, step three actually happened throughout the entire process of development of this project. However, one example I want to show you is how I added the green light um, after I had already started developing the project and I actually tested a different switch that I thought would be better but actually did not work and was ultimately removed. Now that I've taken you through the process of how to make a tic-tac-toe game, let me show you how it looks and um, me playing the game. Um, I know that tic-tac-toe is definitely not one of the most exciting games out there but it was a great starting point for me to learn how to use the microcontroller as well as uh, my one of my first forays into programming. So uh, if you're looking for some project to take on, this may be the right one for you. Um, and there's definitely many more improvements that could be made, uh, not only to the electronics and programming side of this project, but also to just the overall look and feel, uh, such as creating a prettier little display case than this, uh, um, you know, ugly cardboard little box that I decided to uh, make the home of uh, this project. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.